kill them to run away. Well, now I guess it wouldn't. Please, no more. I can't take any more. I'm long dead, stranger. But I suffer torment unending thanks to my husband, Narayaneth. The Daedra gripped their wretched claws on his soul, turned him wicked, turned him against me. All that you see was the result. My husband, the twisted creature he became, cursed me, broke my soul into three pieces and sealed them in phylacteries. If the phylacteries were broken, I would rest, but they are guarded by vile beasts. I have long dreamed of kind words and a way out, but I think this task is beyond you, my friend. The first phylactery is up ahead, watched by impossible creatures. You cannot defeat them. No one can. In time long past, this was the Argia Rel, where I taught the trade of adventuring. My husband, Ryaneth, has broken it, made it a crypt of hearts, where my spirit and the spirit of my students will suffer for as long as his magic lasts. Probably shouldn't be proud of that. I used to fight this much until I met you. My minions will destroy you. Uh, you lead.
I... I thank you. I didn't... I wasn't expecting you would be so capable. You've ended Ankanath's torture and freed a fragment of my soul. Are you willing to do more? My soul remains bound, and the Daedra are torturing others. Two fragments of my soul remain imprisoned. Free them, and I would... I would finally be able to move on. Ankanath's cries have echoed through this chamber for years. The silence now is almost deafening. There's no defending what he's done, to me or the others in the school. But I failed to save him from himself. Given the chance, I would try again. He made a pact. A Daedric pact. Narayanath was proficient with magic, but he could never do all this on his own. I could have stopped him before he completed it. I should have. I have found that where there is misery and torment, the Daedra are not far behind. Yes, my husband appealed to the Daedra for power. He got it. Everything you've seen, he used Daedric spells to create. He was a fellow instructor here at the Agia Rel, teaching the discipline of destruction magic. Losing him was a tragedy to me and to the magical community. I hope he rests in peace. He thought the two of us were having an affair. He was wrong, of course. But his accusation cut deep just the same. Almost as deep as the torture he inflicted on our souls for years. To this day, I'm not sure why he believes it, except to say that the Daedra must have whispered it in his ear. Two fragments of my soul remain imprisoned. Free them, and I would... I would finally be able to move on. Ankanath's cries have echoed through this chamber for years. The silence now is almost deafening. Another fragment of my soul lies to the south. It's heavily guarded, so be wary. I would not fault you for turning back. It only gets tougher from here. I was hoping to speak to you about a new lesson plan, but I think I may have a more pressing issue. I wanted to speak to you as well. What's this I hear about you teaching advanced destruction? I want the students able to defend themselves in the backwoods of Tamriel, but I don't want them learning how to fight a war or burning the school down. And yet, you hired a war wizard. Can this conversation wait? Your husband... Narayanan, what is it? He thinks you and I are having an affair. <laughs> an affair? With you? Why is that humorous? No reason in particular. you have to know how to scrap.
do this! didn't deserve that. No one does. He was the school's blade master, a fellow instructor. Rulanir was an old friend, and my husband knew that whatever pain he inflicted on Rulanir, I would regret. Your determination gives me hope. I resigned myself to the pain a long time ago. You'll find the last fragment through the gate in the southeast. A powerful lich guards the last fragment, plucked out of history and summoned by my husband. He's ravaging the soul of one of my students. I would die again to help that student, but I can't. Please, save him if you can. Allenway, I don't think your husband enjoys my company. They say that when someone professes another's dislike for them, they really mean the opposite. He hisses at me when I walk past. Stop it! It's true. I don't know what you see in him. You realize in the grand scheme of your marriage, he's the one who wins. <laughs> I will take that as a compliment, Rulanir. But look around. Look what he helped me to build. The Agia Rel and its students are more beautiful than I ever dreamed. How can you doubt his character? That is not a reason to love someone. He was my husband before we built the school, Rulanir. And it's not like you haven't gained from his work. Being our Blade Master is the first steady job you've held since the Fighters Guild kicked you out. I'll be back on the roads of Tamriel soon enough. And maybe you'll come to your senses and adventure with me again. Keep dreaming, Rulanir. This school is the world to me now. Coming for us. You have your soul as well. Thank you for freeing me. For freeing Thandor. Our torment was washed him in fire during the day, and he slept only to face the same all over again. I hope that he can rest easy now. I did not dare to hope you would make it this far, but your abilities have been astonishing. The pieces of my soul are free, Though my husband left two Daedric minions, Elambrus Aethor and Elambrus Zavan, to prevent the shards from reuniting. The Daedra maintain spells that will keep the shards from ever merging, my soul from reforming. My husband meant for my pain to be the likes of torture and oblivion. 
How better to ensure that than to bring denizens of oblivion to me? Yes, if you are willing to face them. Defeating those Daedra will dispel their magic and allow my soul to reform. They ruminate on new tortures in a chamber to the south of here. I never hoped that I would ever be free, but I thank you for unbinding this fragment of my soul. You've helped Feindor too, and that brings me a sense of peace that I'm unable to express. A student of mine, I was fond of him. He was the opposite. He was the unruly son of a noble Altmer family, and he resented me and everyone here. But he had an instinctual magical spark that the Mage's Guild lacked the patience to stoke. He became the greatest mage the Ajirel ever produced. Better than my husband, said the Altamari diplomats who visited during Feindor's graduation. The day Feindor was to leave, my husband solidified his Daedric Pact. And you know Feindor's fate. Not make it our last. You can make it. Keep moving.
Do you feel that? The others are returning! I don't know where you found your new friends, Arlenway, but they don't seem to fear death. It's admirable. They can speak to that better than I, but they've bested my husband's minions. We owe them everything. Indeed. By the Empyrean Light! I didn't know Narayaneth had tortured so many of us. That horse and dog. Easy, Feindor. He'll pay when the time comes. But we don't want you rushing off to die. Our Again. friends killed his Daedric pets. He may come looking for us, and we need to be ready. Narayaneth will hear from me before I leave this plane, and he won't like what I have to say. I have an incendiary vernacular. I should have seen him coming. The Ryanith, I mean. I don't care what spells the Daedra gave him. A blade between his eyes. I should have stopped him when I could. But I'm glad you did, for all our sakes. Narayanith's fire wasn't so bad after a time. My anger burned brighter. You've done the impossible. I've seen those Daedric fiends flay the souls of my friends with but a word. Your power must be immense, dwarfed only by your generosity. I... the shards have emerged and my soul is whole once more. Give you my gratitude. The Daedra drove Narayaneth to do this, I know it. I would leave this plane, but I cannot, knowing Narayaneth is still out there. He may return, and on that day, I will do everything I can to free him from Daedric influence. You have freed not only my soul, but the souls of all the students caught in my husband's attack. Your actions right a wrong that was long overdue. My husband and I met as adventurers. We founded this school to teach practical sorcery and use of arms as survival skills. The world can be a dangerous place, and we wanted to give our students the means to tame it. Like we did, had I known. Had I known what my husband would ultimately become, and what he would do to this school and his students, I would never have built it. In a way, I gave the Daedra all those lives, years of torment out of something that should have been wonderful. There were a great many, but they've all been freed now. The ones you saw, Feindor, Rulanir, Ankanath, myself, we were the ones he most despised. The others were trapped within the walls to bear witness. <laughs> 